Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars in Washington, D.C. I'm John Molesky. We're on the set of Dialogue, where I just finished an interview with Susan and Martin Tolshin about their new book, Pinstripe Patronage. Here it is. It's in bookstores as of this week. And this is a follow-up to a work they did many years ago uh, about the evolution of patronage and how it's changed over time. And I want to start there, Martin, by asking yeah. you about the qualifier pinstripe. What has changed about patronage, uh, patronage? What's changed is that pinstripe patronage refers to patronage that goes to the wealthy, uh, who don't need a Christmas turkey, who don't need a job on assembly line, who don't need a job in the courthouse, but they would like contracts, they would like uh, earmarks, uh, they, they've they done very, very well by government. And, and Susan, uh, one thing people might be surprised about is that you don't think patronage is all bad. No, we really think it's, it's used to get legislation you might favor through. Uh, good presidents will use patronage to twist people's arms. They'll use ambassadorships, all kinds of goodies, uh, contracts, architectural contracts, engineering contracts. Uh, contracts to uh, provide meals in Iraq, and they'll use that in order to um, to get legislation that you and I may may really want to get through. In our previous discussion, you talked about that this is really sort of the lubricant for government. Mm, exactly, it's an essential tool of government, and people who disdain its use have a very very hard time governing. How, how do you walk the line uh, in using it but not becoming corrupt? Well, it does. It's, it lends itself to corruption. That's the problem. And uh, we just hope that the Justice Department goes after people who are using public office for personal gain. I right. think you say uh, trading in their pinstripes for uh, prison stripes. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, and, and good luck with the book. And uh, if you'd like to read it, I highly recommend it. It is available now. And also, if you'd like to hear an entire interview, a 30-minute interview with Martin and Susan, uh, join us at the, our website, www.wilsoncenter.org. And if you go to the right-hand upper side of the screen, you'll see a dialogue tab. Click on that, and you can see a complete interview. Thanks.